Hi, this is Todd Hazelton with Laptop Magazine, and we're looking at the new Amazon Kindle 2. Here we are with the Kindle 2 next to the old Kindle. As you can see, it's a lot thinner. It's a slate design here, a lot easier to carry around with you, um, and definitely not as bulky. This kind of had chintzy plastic back feel to it. This is a now a new brushed aluminum, and as you can see while we're back here, there are two stereo speakers. A lot of the changes here are cosmetic. The next page button is smaller and harder to press, which is better because the old, other one was so easy uh, to skip pages on accidentally. Another design change here is this five-way directional pad uh, that replaces the scroll wheel that was on the original Kindle. The keyboard has changed as well. All of the keys are rounded and it's a lot easier to type on, especially with the space bar down at the bottom as opposed to off to the sides like it was on the original where the keyboard was sort of split in half. Also you can see on the bottom of the Kindle there's just a single USB port that's both for charging and transferring files uh, that replaces the double ports on the old one. And the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack is now at the top of the unit right next to the power button. Here we are checking out the display. This is Boing Boing the blog and we have an image up. You can see it's much crisper thanks to the new 16 level grayscale as opposed to the 4 levels on the original Kindle. Otherwise the same resolution and same size screen. Amazon tells us the page flickers are 25% faster, but they're still noticeable and still pretty annoying while you're reading. If you hover over a word while you're reading, a dictionary definition will come up at the bottom of the screen. Here we are on the home page of the Kindle. As you can see, the battery life indicator is right here. It has the name of the Kindle. And then all of everything that's in your library uh, that's been synced up through WhisperNet, Amazon's over-the-air network that uses Sprint's EVDO network. So here we have uh, a newspaper, the New York Times. There's also blogs. We have Boing Boing right here. And you can subscribe to magazines. We have the New Yorker down here. So we'll open up the New York Times and show you a new text-to-speech feature. Now when you're on a page, you hit menu and go start text-to-speech. Kindle's going to start reading out loud to us. As you can see, it's set, or here it sounds rather robotic. It's coming out the stereo speakers on the back. Here we are with a new Kindle 2 charger. It's a lot smaller than the older one. Uh, that's pretty bulky. And instead of having to carry around a USB cable with your charger, this one just pops right out. And so you have your USB cable at all times with the charger. Now for $30 you can buy a protective cover for the Kindle. We recommend it because uh, we wouldn't want to scratch the screen or the nice aluminum back. So what's really nifty about this is that it actually latches on for a great grip using two side holes on the Kindle too. So you slide one end in, the other one down, and then it gets a full good grip on the Kindle so that it won't slide out or drop. This is Todd Hazelton with Laptop Magazine, and that was the Amazon Kindle 2.